Hello everybody, today we are going to be changing the atmosphere and the lighting of our modded game world with the assistance of my good friend Gail Decarios here. Let's get into it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is load up a project and I'm assuming a, you have some entry level knowledge of how to use the editor tool and that you haven't messed around thus far with the atmosphere editing tool. In other words, I'm going to assume that all this stuff, the constructions, lighting, and terrain, and triggers, these are all left at default and you haven't done anything to mess with it. So. To begin, we're going to look at the game world and pull up this thing right here, the work atmosphere panel. And what this does is it gives us three different viewing options for viewing our game world. We have follow camera mode, editor mode, and override mode. Follow camera mode basically reflects in the viewport what you would see in game. The lighting we see here is the lighting we see in game. In fact, if we go ahead and load up our game world, it's, yeah, no, it looks exactly like what we saw in the viewport. Now, if we have editor mode enabled, this is sort of enables a full bright look dev mode for you to use. Uh, I assume if you're like you're making constructs or you're messing around with things where you don't want to be distracted by lighting or shadows or etc., you would use this mode. It does not actually look like this in game, as you can see. And then we have the override mode, which I honestly haven't messed around with a bunch. Basically, it allows you to do atmosphere and lighting overrides, which allows you to change what kind of triggers are being called for in the viewport. It does not, however, actually affect what happens in the game world. So we're not going to mess with that for now. What we're going to do instead now is go into follow camera mode and take a look at this, these settings right here, the current settings. The atmosphere and the lighting are calling upon atmosphere trigger and lighting trigger respectively. And what these are, are essentially the triggers that determine what the world looks like. So. We're going to try and find atmosphere trigger and lighting trigger in our world outliner. In most default scenarios, it is in the lighting tab. Go figure. And as you can see, we have atmosphere trigger and lighting trigger. And if you look over here back in current, it is calling upon those triggers and pulling from them atmosphere default and light lighting default. These are traits that we can change if we click on a trigger and pull it up in the sidebar. When you pull it up in the sidebar, you're going to see a bunch of information. The relevant one we're looking for is this right here, trigger type atmosphere and atmospheres. Click this little ellipsis at the bottom and you're going to see a bunch of options pop up. This is what is currently assigned to your atmosphere trigger and this is everything that's available through the uh, shared dev, basically, the shared folders and shared resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of atmosphere default by either clicking this arrow right here to put it back in the box or double clicking. This is typically quicker. And we're going to choose, this is an atmosphere. Let's choose something at dusk. Let's do worm crossing B. You double click it, make sure to actually assign it and click okay. Now our atmosphere has changed. Look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? Now we have not changed the lighting yet though. So we have this horrible high exposure, high contrast lighting still going. So to rectify this, we go to lighting trigger basic, scroll down to trigger type lightning or lighting and go ahead and go to lightings, click this little ellipsis, the three dots. And as you can see, calling upon the lighting default, put all of those back in the box. And I'm gonna go for dusk again, cause dusk tends to be a very dynamic lighting arrangement most of the time. Like if you're thinking like photography golden hour and screw it, why not? Let's have it match up with worm crossing B atmosphere. Let's choose this, double click it to assign it and click OK. Look at that. The lighting is much more different. We have clouds, we have fog, we have a sun, we have god rays, we have many, many things. We have actual shadows across the environment that are meant to represent clouds. And having done all this, if we actually go into the game, we save these triggers and levels, and we have a shadow, we have directional lighting, we have everything you could possibly want for a pretty game world. And if I exit this, and I'm just not a big fan of the lighting, and I go back into this, I can toss Dusk Worm Crossing back into the bin, and let's see, let's just do Gale Heaven, appropriate for Mr. Decarios, and click OK. Look at this. It's a beautiful sunset, clouds, stars. It is straight up twilight. And if I go ahead and load into the game again, save those triggers, it is applied in game. Uh, that's the gist of it. Pretty simple tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.